everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Siri and we are here back at my home after an amazing day yesterday of visiting with all of our friends over at Pavo's place. Wasn't that just fantastic? That was some of the most fun that I have had in a very, very long time. So I really hope you guys enjoyed our performance of Swan Lake with paddle boats with Wayne and Huck and Pavo. It was really, really awesome and I can't wait to do more work with our friends in the future. But for now, we are back home and we are getting ready to work on the zoo again. But it is a nice Sunday and you know I was kind of looking around and I was noticing a few things like the fact that I still have uh, multiple boyfriends. Darling is still cloned three times so eventually we're going to figure out what to do about that and also the fact that you know my, my um, little quills aka my, my squicken appear to be cloning themselves. I, I have a bit of a hunch of where Holly could have gone. Oh my gosh. Martha look at this. Look at this chaos. I mean, I guess it wouldn't really suck if she started cloning herself because then I would have more accountants, but still. So look at all the quills. <laughs> oh my gosh, and Carlos, why are there so many of you now? There's even like, oh, all this stuff, all the stuff that's going on. There's a cake on the other side too. Oh gosh. I wonder if it has anything to do with the mushrooms. That's a good question, actually, because the mushroom gardens kind of multiply. I wonder if it's something to do with the squicken and the mushrooms, and you mix them together, and somehow you end up with cloning squicken. And I'm going to have to look into that. I'm going to have to look into that. Hmm. All right, but let's wiggle our way out of here for now. Oh, my gosh, there's just so much going on. And, yeah, I just thought we kind of spend the day sort of looking around the house. Also, maybe gathering up a gift to be able to leave at one of our friend's houses. Oh, and I need to go, and I need to pick up all of the eggs that I left at Pavo's place because I don't think he's going to appreciate just having a chest of eggs left in his yard. So I need to go get those eggs. I do want to start working on the Tate and Tackle because we are so close to being done with the Tate and Tackle. But you know, today just might be a nice day to spend at home, Sunflower, especially because we have some mail. And you know what? I kind of want to do a little bit of cooking. I want to do some cooking and take our friends some food. And I'm trying to figure out, you know what? We haven't taken anything to Nirne in a while. So maybe we'll take something to Nirne. And we'll leave something over at her place today. So we'll do that, Sunflower. I think maybe maybe we'll go fishing, perhaps? Hmm. Hmm. We'll have to see. We'll have to see, Sunflower. Also, I picked up a really fun egg that I think you guys are going to enjoy. The Lyrebird egg. And I picked it up from Pablo's place by accident. And I noticed when I got home that it was still in my pockets. And this can actually spawn those beautiful Lyrebirds. And those are the really gorgeous... Oh! You know what I should have done at, gone and done at Pablo's place? I should have used my Encyclopedia of Birds. Oh, gosh. I should have gone... Let's see. Kiwi Bird. Here we go. The liar bird, I should have used it on him so that we could have discovered him and unlocked the knowledge that we could have learned about him. Oh, I'll have to do that next time we go. And really, I should suggest to Pavo that like at our aviaries in everybody's zoos and everybody's aviaries, maybe we should like have some of these books for sale or just like handy because it's really fun to fill them out and have like a completed one. Oh, that's so awesome. All right. But yeah, I should have done that. But this is the lyre bird and they're the bird that Pavo made that during the day will give passive mob sounds and at night it will make hostile mob sounds. So you think you might have a zombie or or like a spider coming for you, but it's just it's just the bird. It's just the bird kind of uh, pulling your feathers so to say. So I would like to use the, uh, do I have the blaze powder with me? I think I already put the blaze powder back because I took what eggs I had on me more or less and I put them back in the egg research center. So I put the blaze powder back over there. Oh, and speaking of blaze powder, there's actually like this item collector. Oh gosh, I guess there is a lot to talk about. Yeah, there's these item collectors that we need to make at some point because what they do is they suck the items in from an area and we can put those with the blaze chickens and they'll gather up the the blaze the the blaze powder for us so oh so many things to do so many things to do and there's my darlings fighting over their cake again oh my gosh all right well let's go ahead and put these things away this is food this is the cashews i gathered up those cashews um and let's go check the mail that's the first thing we do have some mail oh what do we have over here what do we have? Hello, Jude. I hope you are having a wonderful day. Our mail mob on duty. All right. So we have a little present box. It's adorable and purple. I love purple. And then do we have anything in here? We do. We do. Presenting Molly from Alex. All right. All right. A villager named Molly. Oh my gosh. All right. So it looks like we have a villager in this chest. And then let's go ahead and take a peek at Molly and then we'll look at what we have in that chest. I love opening my presents. It's so fun. All right. So let's see. 
Gonna come over here. So let's go ahead and put Molly down. Oh, there we go. Sorry about that, guys. There was something wrong with Molly. And um, I managed to get her out of the safari net. And she isn't exactly what I thought she would be like. Uh, hello, Molly. Very nice to meet you. I'm just going to close this so that you don't have to worry about anything. But this is Molly. All right. It looks like she is one of the... Uh, I think she's a tinker, maybe. Let's go ahead and read the little note here. Dear Siri, I know you only recently got back from your vacation. And I hope you enjoyed it. I do have a favor to ask, though. I found a village grave near La Paz and found it belonged to a villager that sold safari nuts. I hope you don't mind, but I used your altar to resurrect her, and I've named her Molly after a dear friend of mine. The problem lies in that there is nowhere I can keep her other than my house, and unfortunately, I don't have the space to look after a dog, a cat, and a villager. Would you be able to take her into Zomberry Village and let her live there? I feel guilty because I've dumped so many villagers on you, but I know that your village is the most secure place she could be. If there isn't enough space in Zomberry Village, then I totally understand, but I don't want Molly to have to go through a zombie-related accident a second time. Thanks very much from Alex. Oh, that's so sweet. All right, I am not worried. We've got her. Where the heck did she just go? You didn't open this door, did you, Molly? Oh my gosh. Molly, you're gonna let my, my spiders loose. <laughs> Molly, you're trapped in there with the spiders now. Oh, if I open the door, Aki is gonna try to kill them. And they're going to they're gonna kind of nip at me because they can be a little bit aggressive that way sometimes. And then I have a villager I need to give back to Pavo because he's the one we cured in the cave system. Molly, could you please come out here? Oh my goodness. Oh gosh. All right. Well, it's okay. She's new. She doesn't really know like the way of things. Is this, is this a baby zombie? I think this is a baby zombie. And then apparently I have some random creepers. Where are all my things? Why do I have a villager in here? Oh yeah, that's the villager who wants to work down in the lab with us. And I have a bear. Ugh. Wait, where am I going to put everybody? All right, well, let's see. I have three spider children. And I only have... All right, come on. All right, this way. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Get in here. Molly, Molly, ouch. Molly, now is not the time for this. Molly, dang it. Get in. All right, quickly. Spider children, no. Okay, dang it. All right, Jinx. Jinx, get back in here. And run this way. Toss spider child. Closed door. Dang it. <laughs> <gasps> Honeysuckle! Oh, this is so hard. Okay, all right. All right, stay, spider children. Ha! I got them in there. Okay, that was that was quite the adventure. All right, so we are going to welcome Molly to our home now. I'm actually pretty excited about that. So we'll go ahead and release her in Zomberry Village. And I am happy to look after her for Alex's sake. Oh my goodness. I'm always happy to have the zombie villagers be able to live out their life in Zomberry Village. So that should be just fine. Totally A-OK. -okay. We also have uh, the other unnamed villager. Where the heck did I just put him? There he is. We also have this other unnamed villager, but I'm going to go and leave him. Here's a chest I can actually leave too. Over at Pavo's because he technically belongs to Pavo since we cured him over there. And if Pavo wants to leave him at Zomberry Village, that is totally fine. So we can work on that too. All right, look at all these cool things. Oh gosh. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. So we'll release Molly and Zomberry Village in just a second. That's very nice of Alex. And then let's see what this box is. Oh, I love a but, oh my goodness I love opening the presents and this is so pretty oh it's so much food I love caramel apples and caramel oh and darling my mini darlings all of the darlings will love the chocolate bars and there's lavender oh a whole stack of lavender oh I could make some lavender scones or maybe some lavender tea that would be so fun day of friends oh it's from Mara oh the day of friends what is that oh it sounds so awesome okay oh and it's night already. How did that happen? All right. Happy Valentine's Day. Here in Finland, Valentine's mean Day means the day of friendship. So I wanted to give each of you something to thank for your friendship. Hope you'll enjoy them. Heart Mara. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, that's so nice of Mara. And so she has brought us chocolate bars and caramel and beautiful lavender flowers and some delicious caramel apples. That's going to be absolutely fantastic. I love it. I love how many presents and gifts like we run around and run into so often all right there's my darling still eating his cake i won't nibble any of his cake but i'm gonna come over and eat this cake really quickly and gather up some grapes really quickly there we go and put those away just do a little bit of gardening because we have been so busy in the tate and tackle that i haven't had a good chance to do a little bit of my gardening for oh no my vanilla bean oh i almost got it 
Um, I don't know if I want to risk climbing off the side of a cliff for my vanilla bean, though. So that's like, you got to draw a line somewhere. You know what I mean? All right. Whoops. And that's not going to help me to try to open up my books while I'm trying to pick the grapes. There we go. Did I get the grapes? Where'd my grapes go? Aw. I just got gypped out of my grapes. Oh, well. We'll figure that out in the future. All right. Let's come over here. And I'm going to put away these grapes. Um, These are really like finished foods, so I could... I should put them somewhere else. And the sugar I should feed to the girls. Uh, I could put the vanilla beans away. We'll just roast the vanilla beans. Hello, one of my darlings. Firm handshake. Other darling. Greeting Persephone. And I love the little statue of the cat that's above Persephone that we bought from Alex at La Paz. Absolutely awesome. Um, plenty of cake to feed everybody forever still. I kind of have a little personal goal of trying to eat the cake before my birthday. Um, oh, is that so, ladies? But I don't know if I'm going to achieve that before March 27th. This might this might take me a little while. Maybe I'll invite some friends over and we can have, like, the cake eating day. I need some help eating my cake. All right, let's go ahead and take care of Bluebell. Gonna give her some sugar, take away these vulture eggs. Bluebell, why won't you put your little flower back on your head, huh? Why won't you put your flower back on your head? No? Okay. Well, we'll take care of her later. And then, let's see. I gotta release Molly. Gotta put these books away. Oh, goodness. So much to do. See, even with, um, even with all the zoo projects. Hello, darling, who I can give up. I, I really need to figure out which darling is my darling again. I miss giving them kisses. But there's, there's like, so many darlings. There's th three darlings right here. All right. Let's go ahead and put Molly away. And then I might need to pop over to Pavo's and just fill up on all of those eggs and leave the villager with him. Maybe maybe we'll make something really quickly to give to Pavo as a snack. It is Valentine's Day, too. I had something planned for Darling, but then, you know, he went and cloned himself twice. So I think we're going to have to go ahead and, like, figure out which Darling is going to be my Darling. And it's going to be a little bit of a process, and we'll work on it. Hello, Darian. How are you? All right, Boulder, I am releasing... Oh, there's that arrow again. Why do we have that mystery arrow? It perplexes me so. Look at it. What is it doing here? What is it doing here? I have no idea. What? Ah, my bias chickens. No, Ember just suffocated in a wall. Okay, I'm going to have to check on the birds. Maybe we'll end up checking on the birds tomorrow. We also need to put bird nest down for the birds and all the aviaries since they no longer will just like pop out eggs randomly all the time. I think they still will, but it's really fun when they lay the eggs in nest. So I need to give all the birds nest and let's go ahead and put Molly down. Hello, Molly. I hope you really appreciate, like, your time here. Or, well, appreciate is a strong word. I meant enjoy your time here. And, um, yep, she seems like she's settling right in then. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, let's go ahead and run on up. So that is Molly put away. Gosh, it really is just important to spend a day kind of getting all of our affairs in order. And then let's go ahead and, let's see. I was thinking about trying to get some stuff for near day. Um... But I think it might be a little while before I can go fishing. I think I want to spend a day fishing pretty soon. A day taking care of the birds, working on the Tate and Tackle, going fishing, visiting Nirne's place, leaving presents for her, letting her know that the fishing docks are open here at my place because, you know, she lives at a very beautiful place, Sunflower, full of, uh, full of fish and things. So let's see. I know all of those things. Aki is stuck. My dogs are down by the Tate and Tackle, most of them. All right, come here, Aki. I'm going to get you unstuck and put you over here, okay? There we go. Now she's better. Uh, let's put some of these things away. Huh. Huh. It's just kind of nice to spend a minute doing these things. Let me get these uh, this cake eaten. Yeah, just kind of nice to spend a few minutes trying to sort things out. It is kind of weird when we spend a long, 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 long time away from home taking care of other things. I'm going to keep the caramel, caramel apples with me, actually. I really want to eat those. But it is kind of weird when we spend so long taking care of other things in uh, the zoo to come back home and be like, Oh, what do I need to do? There's so much stuff that needs done. Like making more books so I have books to rely on. All right, so we're taking the villager over to Pavo's. I'm going to clean up all of the bird eggs I left in his yard so I don't make a mess. That's kind of rude to make a mess. Um, and is there anything? I love my little lavender flowers Mara gave us too. That's so nice. And is there anything I can leave him? Hmm. How? Uh, maybe a spicy dish? I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think what we could make. 
We have a lot of... <laughs> Maybe we should make something with eggs because he's always talking about how he doesn't need eggs because he has so many. So what if we tried... What is this? Oh, that's how you make a phoenix egg. What? Oh my gosh. We will have to make a phoenix egg one day. That is amazing. Yeah, maybe we should try cooking something with eggs. Is there anything shaped crashing? There we go. Shapeless crafting, red velvet cake, stuffed eggplant, ginger, a uh, Jaffa. I hear those are supposed to be really good. Like uh, everybody in in England is always like, "What? You've never had one?" And no, I haven't. I've never seen one except like in uh, vlogs of people who live in England. So maybe a Jaffa cake, um, sunflower wheat rolls, ginger rhubarb tart. <laughs> Palova. That kind of make I kind of want to make that because it reminds me of Pavo. Um, there's hot cakes. Oh gosh, there's so much stuff we could do. Maybe something more traditional with eggs, like scrambled eggs or quiche, because there's French toast, which sounds so yummy, or eggnog. I don't think I have enough ground nutmeg to make eggnog. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see the omelets. Cornbread. Is there just like scrambled eggs? I can't remember. What's this? Marshmallows. We can make a bunch of marshmallows uh, with the eggs. Let's see. There's batter and there's mayonnaise. Um, let me see. The squicken eggs, pumpkin pie, mayo, egg sandwich. <laughs> we can make a. There we go. This is what I want scrambled eggs and fried eggs and boiled eggs. Let's do it. Let's just make scrambled eggs, fried egg, eggs, boiled eggs, egg sandwich, maybe some mayo. Let's just give Pavo like a ton of egg stuff. That sounds hilarious because it'll be like, you said you didn't need more eggs, so here you go. All right, let's grab a whole bunch of these. We're just going to make like stacks of egg stuff. Because I think that'd be hilarious. And it's a good way to use up all the extra eggs we have. I'm not going to make them with the vulture eggs and things like that, though. All right. So we're going to put that in. Not, no dodo eggs, either. I'm going to put those away. Kind of clean this up a little bit. I should probably put away some of my, my equipment. Ah, oh, this is so fun. I love how, how many things we always have to do and to work on. You just never know what we might do next. All right. So there we go. Uh, maybe just a few more. Because these are really simple recipes. And see, it looks like we're getting rid of all of our eggs. But all of these egg baskets, each egg basket is like eight eggs. So we have a lot of eggs. Though we won't have as many eggs now that Holly is missing. Ugh. Finding Holly is yet another one of the quests that we need to work on. But we will worry about that in a little bit. For now, we're going to crack some eggs open. And let's go ahead and make ourselves some fried eggs. Boom. Some nice fried eggs, sunny side up, just like that. Don't mind if I do. Look at all that fried eggs everywhere. Wonderful, a whole stack of them. We'll scrub the skillet out. I'm walking on cake, that's fine. And then let's go ahead. And what happens if we do the saucepan and eggs? Scrambled eggs. Oh, you know what we should make? We should make ketchup. We should get ketchup and like a little bit of salt to give to him too. So wash this and put this away. Let's get boiled eggs. So we'll go ahead and boil up some eggs as well. Oh, why is this so funny to me? I don't know. It's just hilarious. We'll wash this. Put this away. And let's see. Now I need... Um, let's see. Do I have some bread? I do indeed have a little bit of bread. I probably need more bread though. So... And then we'll make egg sandwiches. Ah, look at that. That's awesome. I need, I need more... I need more... Um, bread okay so let's see wheat 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 and then also ketchup we need to make some ketchup because this is a lot of stuff i think ben changed what kind of he keeps a bottle of alcohol of some kind in my little pantry in here all the time it kind of cracks me up you just never know which one he's gonna have changed out with look see here's another one of the cute little eggs this is i think is a deco crafting egg basket i just love this place oh do i have anything stored in here i do not yet okay that's useful all right let's go ahead and figure out how to make ketchup because ketchup would be really good it's just tomatoes and a juicer. I can totally handle that. Fresh veggies, don't mind if I do. And we'll do a stack of ketchup. Oh my gosh! Aki, the sweet potatoes! Aki, so many sweet potatoes! That's like two months worth of sweet potatoes she has harvested up there. Oh my goodness. I might need to have some help getting through all of those. That's gonna be interesting. And then let's see, maybe some salt and then I need to get the wheat. Okay, so let's see, fruit basket, herbs and spices, staple crops. So yep, and here's the wheat that Aki has been dutifully gathering. So I don't think we need to take too much of it, but we're going to take at least this much. Oh, and look at all the fish. Oh, and this is where all the miscellaneous stuff goes too, like the little bee grub. 
I love how helpful Aki is. It's really useful to have our little maple tree people, little spirits working away there. All right, let's make a whole bunch of bread. So we're just gonna make stacks and stacks worth of bread. Boom, 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 boom. Look at all that delicious bread. And let's go ahead. There we go, whole stack of egg, egg sandwich. Oh my gosh, okay, and um, and now we're just gonna make some mayo because we can. And then there's some mayo. I have no idea what you can do with mayo, but now he's got tons of it. And then we're gonna rinse the mayo jar, or the juicer, there we go. And make some ketchup, a whole stack of ketchup. So there we go, and then wash, 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 and put this away. And it's a good thing that they have found that eggs are not bad cholesterol for you after all, or else we would be kind of killing pavo in increments here. All right, tons of bread to be able to do things with. And then I was gonna grab some salt to leave with him. I don't think I have a lot of salt. Yeah, I don't have a lot of salt, but we'll leave, we'll leave a little bit of salt. You know, you, you wanna keep your sodium intake kinda low, they say, so we'll just leave him like that much salt and just fill it with like eggs. There you go. Too bad we don't have like plates or anything we could line the bottom of the chest with, but that's good. And then you, you know, they got the little villager that he can look after too. Good, all right. Ladies, it's okay. I know it's a little cold. It's winter that happens around here. There, oh, there's one of the darlings. They're kind of shivering because it gets a little bit cold. All right, so there's our eggs for Pavo for a hilarious little attempt at, uh, at feeding him these things. Was there anything else I was gonna grab? I don't think so. So let's go ahead. And we are gonna head straight out. Look at this, more sweet potatoes. I'm just gonna toss these in here. We're gonna head out. I'll be right back, Sunflower. And let's see, I'm gonna nibble this cake, ha. The darlings will never know. They'll think one of the other darlings did it. Oh, he saw nothing. And if we're gonna go back over to Pavo's, we are going to leave the villager that we cured for him, like during yesterday's, uh, what'd you guys think about yesterday? I love just being able to laugh and adventure with the other zoo crafters. It's just so much fun. Oh, help. Okay, there we go. All right, almost ready. Oh, all the peafowl, that's what's doing it. All the peafowl, oh gosh. All right, hang on, whoops, there we go. Sorry about that, guys. There's so many peafowl here. Also, I love how many of you guys didn't know about the avocado tree and you were so like just laughing so hard about it. All right, so I'm gonna gather this up and let's go ahead and put down this little chest right here and let's fill it with the eggs. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna have the villager. So we have our lovely villager and then we're just gonna kind of, I think I'm just gonna kind of like start placing it at random and then a little bit of ketchup maybe on either side and a little bit of salt, ketchup and salt for the eggs. And then fried eggs, and then boiled eggs, and then, oh, I need more room. There's egg sandwich. <laughs> so I wanna have room for the egg sandwiches. Um, let's see, and I need room for the mayo. So I need to make room for mayo. Okay, some mayo here. Oh, this is beautiful. It's beautiful, you guys. <laughs> It's perfect. It's all the eggs he could ever want. It's all the eggs he could ever want. Look at that. Lovely. Lovely. All right. We'll just kind of casually put these here. Put these here. They're not made of like peafowl, albino peafowl eggs, but hopefully he'll be able to enjoy them. Oh, and we need to leave like one of them. Let's see. Let's do this. There we go. We need to leave one space to leave the little note. So there we go. Pavo, my good friend. I... Uh, came back to collect the eggs that I left during our adventure. There we go. Our adventure with Huck and Win. I didn't want to clutter your yard up after all. I remembered what you said about eggs too. That you had too many of them. So now you don't have to worry. Let's see. To worry. The eggs I have uh, left behind have been turned into delicious, delicious, simple egg meals. Uh, just remember to watch, let's see, remember to watch those cholesterol levels. All right. Best wishes, best wishes among your, <laughs> best wishes uh, for your beautifully noisy, Let's see, peafowl flock, and then Siri. Oh, yeah, and then P.S. 
Oh yes, the reason I all uh, I also I also left the villager da, 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 that we cured yesterday here for you too. The little guy was uh, cured was found cur found on your grounds after all, so he may want a home here. However, however, if not, Zomberry Village is always open to welcoming him. There you go. The villagers there are all former zombies and may be able to help to help him if need be. There we go. And then oh and then PPS the egg meals in question may not have been made from the most Elite albino peafowl eggs, but I do hope they will still uh, meet your. Uh, they will still please your refined taste. That's from a joke. There we go, and there we go, and uh, what should I say? Like they're not more eggs, or uh. You said no eggs. No, you said no eggs or like, what should I say? Um, solving egg problem. Or, uh, sunny side up. There we go. We're just going to call it sunny side up. There we go. I love it. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's perfect. Wait, I need to spread the, the sandwiches out a little bit. There we go. All right. All right. It's glorious. Ah, all right, and let's go ahead and we need to collect all of these because believe it or not you guys These are all eggs. All of these are eggs that I left here. <laughs> I Dug them all out. I think actually the pelican eggs are ones that that Pavo put in here I don't think he'll mind though. He apparently has like a bazillion and a half pelican eggs So I'm gonna have to put these. Oh my gosh <laughs> I'm glad I brought all my backpacks. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, so we've got all these almost done. There's all those. And let me go ahead and get my axe. Phew! And then I left this chest here too. So there, I cleaned it up. I cleaned my mess up. Pretty happy about that. But there we go, you guys. So we have gathered up all of the uh, eggs that I left at Pavo's place just so that we wouldn't clutter it on his front door because that's kind of rude. We have left him a gift of all sorts of cooked eggs since he said he had plenty of like eggs for hatching already. And we left the little villager with him. We have also got a wonderful gift from Mara who has been so kind as to celebrate Valentine's Day this way. She has also left us an adorable little uh, gift just like Pavo's so it makes me really happy. To see the cheer being spread on the server. And... Oh, wow. Look at all those guys. <laughs> and we have gathered up our eggs. Let's see. I think I already said that. I'm just so excited. And it's a little distracting with so many people. But yeah, we've got everything we need. And I will meet you guys back at the zoo tomorrow. I think we're going to go ahead and go down and take all of these eggs back to the egg research center. And maybe even see if we can hatch the Learbird, Liarbird egg. And see why Ember suffocated. Because I cannot afford to lose my blazing chickens. And yeah, I think we might put some nest out for the chickens tomorrow. And then we'll get back to work on the Tate and Tackle. But alright guys, I will see you in the morning. Bye bye